Waalaikum Assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My question is regarding games. Now, there are few scholars who are of the opinion that playing, uh, for example, cricket, which associate with a stone, you know, they have a hadith to relate to. So, in the forbid cricket, if we take that hadith and their interpretation, then all the games will be forbidden. On the other hand, there are few scholars who say that taking cricket, popularity which associates godhood with cricketers, so it's encouraged playing it. So, by that, you know, if tomorrow soccer becomes so popular, or any other game, for example, table tennis becomes so popular, so is it that we are going to discourage even that? Again, we'll run out of games. Your answer, please, for this. Sisters ask a question that there are two groups of scholars. One group of scholars who say that cricket is haram, because the hadith that you don't play a game with stones. So in that way, other games also can become haram. And second group of scholars who say that because many of the people, they look up to the cricket players as heroes, as uh, role models. So it leads to hero worship, idol worship, therefore it's haram. And if you agree with that, then any other game can get more popular, like soccer, etc., football. So do you mean to say you'll say that's haram? Sister, personally, as far as the hadith, as far as the first question is concerned, there's a hadith which says that you should not play a game which involves the throwing of stone, etc. This hadith cannot be used for other games that I know of. It can be used for cricket, but not 100%. It can be used, whether you call it a ball or stone or not, different opinion is there. I personally, I say I don't know. I'm not saying that surely with this hadith you can say cricket is haram. So I'm not agreeing with those group of scholars that based on that hadith, you can ban cricket per se. If someone wants to not play in doubt and doesn't want to play, alhamdulillah. But 100% per se, I wouldn't say the hadith matches that. Some scholars have tried to fit in some way or the other. As far as the second group of scholars, I don't know any such scholars on the second group who says cricket is haram because people try and they do hero worship of the cricket player. I don't know of any such good scholar. If you go fatwa hunting, you will find any fatwa of any scholar. The first group, I do know a couple of scholars who say that. But the second group, you said that people have made cricket haram because people really adore the cricket players. It's totally wrong. I don't agree with that. Because any person, a person may adore or die also. People adore Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also. The person who is adored maximum in the world is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So do you mean to say becoming a messenger is haram? People adore Daid also. I respect Sheikh Ahmed Didad. I love him. So that doesn't mean that giving Islamic lectures become haram. So the second ruling totally is wrong. I don't agree with that ruling. The thing is that you can adore a person, love him, respect him, as long as the reason you adore him is Islamic. Or it is not haram. It may not be directly Islamic, but if it's not haram, also no problem. You may like a mathematician. And it should not lead to shirk. So anything that leads to shirk, the person who's doing that is haram. So person who's adoring any person who's famous, whether he be a businessman, whether he be a cricketer, whether he be a person playing soccer, or a dai, or a messenger, if he adores him to such a level, where he starts worshipping him, it is haram. But you can't say that giving Islamic lectures is haram. Knows Billah that the messengership is haram. So surely it is the fault of the person doing the act, not the game per se. So second group of scholar, I don't know of any such scholar. Where she got from, I don't know. But surely this second reasoning, I don't agree with at all. But I have my personal opinion as far as cricket is concerned. I can give my personal opinion which is not related with the Sharia. Like personally, I may like a thing or dislike a thing. If you ask me personally, I'm not in favor of cricket. Therefore, in our school, Islamic International School, as per the school rules, cricket is haram. Not in Islam, in the school. Why, I'll tell you later. For example, I can say that in our Islamic International School, wearing a grey and a dark blue uniform is fard. It's not fard in Islam. It is fard in IIS. Fard means compulsory. People think fard means have to be Islamic only. If not mentioned, it means Islamic, but it is compulsory in school to wear the uniform. The greyish color and the dark navy blue color, it's compulsory. But outside is no problem. So in school, I have made it prohibited. Why? I have my own reason. I feel cricket is a waste of time. And what we see that, you know, 22 fools are playing, and 22 millions are watching. And previously, you pray for five days. 
and then after five days it become a draw. Now they have come up with one day cricket. And even in that way we realize that in the game it depends upon the speed of the wind, it depends upon clouds, it depends upon the pitch, it depends more on other factors than the person playing it. So comparatively I prefer games like football, hockey, basketball, volleyball, most of the other games, almost all, are better than cricket according to me. As long as the game is not haram, huh? leave aside the haram games, like gambling and all, if you want to call it a game. But all the other games I feel that I have knowledge of. You play football, one and a half hour, immediately result, good exercise, request stamina. In cricket, and the people who are watching it, they give comments. You know, and they spend so much time. It is one of the most expensive games. You require a leg guard, you require a pad, you require this guard, that guard, helmet. And if you want to play properly, one of the most expensive games that I know of is cricket. So I feel it's a waste of time. And the exercise required is early. There are other games also which are falling in somewhat similar categories. But cricket per se, I feel that I don't want to let the children of Islamic International School involve in such activity. They can play other games. But again, I cannot say cricket is haram, Islamically. Even though I may not like it, I may dislike it, I can't say Islamically it's haram. I can say according to my personal view, a person should not play. But Islamically, I can't give a fatwa it's haram. I never have a given. If some scholars have given based on certain hadith, they'll be responsible for right or wrong. They may be right, they may be wrong, Allah alam. But personally, I feel it's a waste of time. And especially Muslims. Most favorite game of the Muslims in India is cricket. Because a person doesn't know how to play also, can involve himself by watching and giving his comments. Why did they do this? Why did they do this? Why did they do this? Why did they Which they can't do in football. In football you play and you enjoy. In cricket you can give your comments. And hear people listening on the transistor. So it's a waste of time. 22 fools playing and 22 million fools watching it. So I personally am against cricket. But Islamically, I cannot say it's haram, but the waste of time, yes. Hope that answers the question, sister.